Two peregrine falcons on the Boeing Aerospace Building. How lucky can you get? Oh yeah, look at that. There he goes. Now we'll see where he goes. Well, we got the two peregrines at the Boeing Aerospace Building. I'll try to zoom in on the one in a regular spot. And there she is. This is our resident female. And the other one was on the corner of the building and just flew over on the roll-up door. So I'll back off, see if I can pick up on that. That's over on this side a little bit. And there's our roll-up door. That's where that one landed. There we go. This is where they stash their food, so maybe getting something to eat here. Well, the fact that this falcon landed here tells me that this bird's been here before, so I'm not sure what's going on if it's the male or what, but this bird knows about this ledge, so he is very familiar, and the other bird is not cackling or defensive of it, so these two birds know each other really well. We're excited about it. Now a few years ago we had one that the male was living behind the little ladder every night he'd sleep there. But this is a different head markings from what I'm used to seeing. But the bird does know how to operate around this building and which ledge is the food ledge. And there's no uh, scolding or interaction between the two so they know each other. Alrighty. We might be coming back in. Sailing around the building. Went up behind the ladder. This is uh, the resident male is back. This is his spot. If I can get over here. He went up here. There he is. Just kind of peeking out here. Forklift went by and spooked him. And there he is. So that's our male. That's his hiding spot. He's been here for several years. This is the spot he always had. The female spot is over behind the ladder. Look at this guy getting all tucked in there. The male is back and landed in his favorite spot. Well, maybe we'll see him sail out of here. He's kind of crouching down a little bit. Like I say, a forklift came around the corner and kind of spooked him, so he flew off the ledge and then sailed up here. What a good looking bird. There you go. All tucked in there in his secret spot. Oh yeah. It's kind of peeking out now. Making sure everything's just perfect with his favorite spot. We're certainly glad that he came back and joined back up with the female here. There it goes, sails off the building. There's our peregrine landed up here on the ledge. Just peeking out. Well, he didn't land on the silver stripe, he's right next to it. You can see him there. There we go. And he's got plenty of room. Feels secure there. Walking along the ledge here, checking everything out. Oh yeah. It is very interesting, different behavior. But he's smaller, so he's one third smaller than the female and he can get in on these ledges. Oh yeah, he's checking everything out. He's having a good time here. Maybe we'll catch him sailing off of here.
He's working his way towards the corner of the building now. There he is, peeking out. Oh, there he goes, sailing off again. Now he's landed over here between the two chocolate stripes. I'll back off so you can see where it's at. There's two stripes there, that's where they perch, right on the top, the resident female. This is the male who's back in the area. He goes behind the ladder and then now he's over here. He's been flying to several places on the building, checking everything out, making sure everything's back to where he's, he remembers it. So, because he camped out on here for a couple years in a row during the winter. Then, of course, they disappear and go nest. We don't know where, but he's back here now for the winter. So, but he's having a good time checking everything out. Flying over here and sailing over there. He fits up there pretty good. Well, we'll watch him for a little bit. I heard him uh, cuss a crow a little bit. Uh, relieved himself, he might fly now. All right, he's really looking. I think he wants to take off here. Let's see what he's up to. There he goes. I'm going to sail back to that roll-up door, I think. Boy, right, just touching going on the building now. Circling back and forth, getting an updraft. All right. Coming back in now. See what he's up to here. He's just kind of circling around there. Ah, landed up here now. That's where he's supposed to land, top of that stripe. Oh yeah, he's just checking everything out. He's kind of having fun today. He's back and making sure all the perches are squared away and as he remembers them. This is our tear soul, little male. Finally showed up back here. You say the resident female's on her regular perch again. Oh yeah, he fits in there really good. Got a little fuzzy feather on his head. He's been just checking everything out, landing on the ledges and walking along the edge of the building. Just checking everything out. Checking up on his territory here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's going to preen up now. Still working those feathers. All right, scratching up. Looks like he may want to preen up a little bit. Getting his foot all squared away. And he's happy to be back at the Boeing Aerospace Building. Reunited with the female. All goes like the past years. They'll sleep on this building and winter out here all winter. He's got his little spot behind the ladder and she's got one on top of the chocolate stripes. They'll sleep on the building every night and hunt from here. We're just glad they're both back. Oh yeah, scratching up. This is our little tear so the male's finally back. He checked out all his favorite perches. And I said, well, I'll clean up a little bit here. She's still over on her perch. Oh, yeah. Let's see. He's going to get around here and get some of these feathers preened up. There he goes. Got that foot up. Got good color in his feet, too. Good looking, healthy bird. Oh yeah, I was going to do the breast feathers a little bit. What you call a happy camper here. I don't know why I just want them. She showed up in August, so... It's October now. It's the first time I've seen him here. I've been coming about every day, so... Anyway, he is here. 
and they're both happy about it. There he goes, preening up a little bit. I got some of those feathers they blew over here, those striped ones. I had a few of those, they're great feathers. And I got a couple of tail feathers too. They're getting under the wing, look at that, reaching around that way. Yeah, he's going to do a makeover here. Oh yeah, finishing up the preening. Doing a fine job. I haven't heard any communication between him. He uh, made a little noise at a crow that flew by. But his main goal was checking out every perch, check out where the food is stashed on the roll-up door and his perch, and went for a walk under the little ledge. So he's got everything checked out now, and he's happy. So he's glad to be back. And we're happy to have him back. Two peregrines is better than one for bird watching. Oh yeah. Working on that wing again. Alright, well we'll see what else is in the area.